This tutorial would show you how to install a Kali Linux uh, using VirtualBox in your system. So first go to kali.org slash downloads and make sure to use the respective um, Kali Linux uh, architecture. It's most of the time it's going to be the 64-bit installer. Go ahead and click that and save. It might take uh, a bit of time as it, it's 3.6 gigabytes. So we'll skip over that. And I already have my uh, this image downloaded. So actually I can skip over that. So we'll go ahead and open up your virtual box. Uh, if you don't know how to, did I do that? I just do command space, that's the spotlight, and I put virtual box. Another way to search that is through here, uh, spotlight icon, a magnifying glass icon, or the applications folder. So right now I'm here, I still don't have my Kalinux. The first thing I would do is click new, and then let's add the name Kali Linux. Memory size, um, your RAM, allocation, um, which is one gigabyte that should be fine uh, let's do create and file size it does have a minimum requirement of 20 gigabytes so put 20 GB there and just hit create and now with this one we can now hit normal start and it should ask you the ISO image it should be popping out anytime soon. Let's see. Here we go. We don't need this one, that's the CentOS version. Let me go and find that one. So I just click add and I saved it in my desktop, so it should be here. So Kali, open that one and choose and start. And basically you could start, uh, just go ahead and click view and go to scale mode so you do have a bigger screen and click switch and now I can resize this by clicking the edges. Uh, now that I have the Kali Linux installer, I can go ahead and click graphical install, press enter on that one, and you can also press exit. If you don't know how to exit out the window, you can press the command key in Mac and then click this one and just click back in the screen again to go back there. So it asks you the language. Uh, go ahead and click English and click continue. And then United States, click continue. Keyboard, American English. So I skip past over the installation on that components and other stuff for, I think it took like around three minutes for me. And now we ask you for a host name. We can just go with the default with Kali and domain name. Let's just go for local, continue, uh, configure the network. 
uh, it's fine. Uh, user pass, username, full name first. I'll use mine. You use yours. Um, I'll just use first initial for the first name and then last name. And a good password. And repeat that. Let me double check. I think I entered it wrong. And let's go to continue. and configure the clock i'll choose specific time hit continue And then I have skipped over the entire uh, partitioning installation. And now it would ask you uh, which partition you want. You can just go with the guided use entire disk. And basically have that partition. Mm -hmm. Finish partitioning and write changes to disk. And just click yes. I skip over the other installation as well. Um, now we can just hit continue for this. So we skip past installation of base system for like five minutes. And now it does give you this customization, but just go ahead and click continue. So it took like 20 minutes to do more installation and then this one pops out. Uh, installing the group loader, yes. Let's just do continue. Um, We can just choose this device then. So it took a few more minutes and now the installation is finished. You can hit click continue. And now it reboots. and Kali Linux. Now we can see the beautiful logo of Kali Linux. greeted with a login screen go ahead and type in your username and password hit logged in and as you can see uh, minutes are being loaded up you can check around just clicking a folder ok 
Okay, so it seems to work. Desktop opening in a shell. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial.